and I found out that that won't it, <laughs> and I developed a burning desire to change that picture, I knew I had to develop me. That's what I had to develop. When I used to see other people stand up in front of crowds, and I see other folks do stuff, and, and I said, how can they do this? They develop themselves. One something that my mom and dad used to tell me, and they would say, you're just as good as anybody else, son. Mm -hmm. You know better than nobody, but you're just as good as anybody. Mm -hmm. So that was telling me I could do whatever anybody else do yeah. if I was willing to put the effort and energy and time into it and develop myself. And that's where it's at. We got to develop ourselves. I want you to picture a little bitty little baby in your head. When that little baby comes to the world, what can it do on its own? <laughs> Just cry. Okay? It can breathe and cry. <laughs> and once you feed it, it can do what? Yeah. <laughs> It'll do that too. <laughs> but it can't do anything else. Why? Because it has not developed. You have to see yourself as an infant. If you just didn't start it with a new mindset of starting your own business, that's not something you've been exposed to. If you're not aware of all the tax deductions and all of these things that you can do, you got to start developing yourself. If you're not one that, 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 that can get up in front of a crowd and talk and get your point across, that means you still got more development there. So think about that little child, though. As you continue feeding and as you continue nurturing, that's the same thing as you continue coming to these meetings, listening to tapes, books, etc. At the meeting that we just finished, I mentioned the material in this box right here. And I'm mentioning this now for another reason. In this box, um, I might not say that good, but in this box, there are some CDs. And when you look at that box, you might say, well, they don't, you know, they don't hold a lot. <coughs> I spent almost $600 for that material. Why? Because I know the value of developing me. Mm -hmm. I'm, well, you should think the only, you're priceless. The more you keep putting into yourself, the more value you become. It's almost just like as you keep, uh, as, you, as you, you got a scale, and the more you keep piling on it, it gets heavier and heavier, don't it? Right. Mm -hmm. The more you put in this here, the more you develop yourself. We'll work hard, and, you know, out there lifting weights, Exercising, building up the muscle. I know y'all can tell I've been doing it. Working <laughs> <laughs> out. Yeah. But <laughs> we'll do that for our muscles, right? <laughs> but what do we do for this? That's the most powerful thing you got. Your brain. What do you do to 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 give your mind calisthenics? They say <clears throat> you need to read books. You need to listen to tapes and seminars. Instead of cutting that um, music box on when you get in your car, you know, riding down the road, <laughs> instead of doing all that, put something on in there that's going to feed you, feed you, feed your mind, give you knowledge and information that can help improve you. That's what you need to start doing. Start listening to people who are more successful. That helps you develop yourself. I could go on and on and on, but you got to understand, when you understand that you are priceless, sometimes I think about it and I just, what God created when he created you. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I was listening one time, I wish I had all these figures, but you know, we look at the computer, we can look at all this technology, the Wi-Fi and all this stuff, we look at all that stuff, man, and say, oh, that's just incredible, right? That don't even hold a light to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you look at as much as a computer does, and it, it still you know, impresses me to, I don't even know half of what it can do. But you don't even know hardly anything of what you can do. And they said geniuses only use about 10% or so of their brain. Couldn't land the glory. <laughs> <laughs> what if we could really find out how to use all of it? Oh, oh. So, but we got to learn to develop ourselves. And uh, I see today has been a day of a lot of acronyms. Uh, um, I don't even know if I should even use mine. <laughs> but but uh, I'm just saying real quickly, but the main thing is just to get the message across. You need to do all you can to, to 
Now, anytime you have a chance to go to a workshop, anytime you have a chance to get some material to put inside of you, anytime you get a chance to listen to somebody who's successful or somebody who's headed in that direction, they don't have to already be there. If they're in front of you in the line to success, that means they don't pass something that you need to know. And you need to be listening. What you say? All right, you need to get that too. <laughs> because that's where you're headed. Very important. I use um, self-development, and I just took the word self-development, and I, I made a, 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 just put some words there to help you as an, as an acronym. Um, but, and I'm going to do it fast, because I know self-development is long. <laughs> so so when, when I got ready to start thinking, I know we have some 15 minutes. Uh, but I'm just going to throw them out real quick so you can hear it. But for self-development, you got to seek it first. You can't, I mean, if you don't seek it, you, you're probably not going to find it. You are exceptional when you become, when you develop yourself, you become an exceptional person. The average person is not going to try to do a lot of those things. I don't want, never want to be average. I want to be above average. That's what you should be striving to be. In order to become, theft, in order to develop yourself, you got to use these two things. Your ears. You got to listen. God gave us two ears and one mouth. What should that mean? This is what we talk. Okay? Because that's how you gather. When you see somebody who's running, running, running off at their mouth and they don't ever listen, they're usually stuck on themselves. Usually. And, but if they wouldn't listen, they can learn something. Because you can learn something from everybody. I mean, even little kids, you can learn something from them. Fearless, that's what the F stands for. You got to step out, and, and we talked about fear in the other session. We mentioned F-E-A-R stands for false evidence of fear and real. We kill ourselves a lot of times before we do anything. I'm so proud again, I'm going to let you know it, Dr. Samara, because see, that fear will stop you from doing stuff. Mm -hmm. But when you challenge that fear, because I remember when I used to do it, when I first started speaking in front of a crowd, oh, my God. I ain't got time to tell you all the stories of how I overcame that fear. But the more you do it, I, I heard, um, uh, heard you say it, uh, Michelle. You know, the more you do it, it's just like anything else in life. If you go out there and start shooting free throws in the basketball court, you keep doing it, you keep doing it, you keep doing it, that's why you can get better, better, better. These for different. You're going to be different when you start doing that from the average person. That's a good thing. Early. Um, you need to start your self-development as early as you can. For those who got kids, you need to start them reading books, listening to material as early as you can. I was so impressed with Linda. She, yeah. Yo, you said that was your granddaughter. granddaughter. I was so impressed with that. She was listening to me and taking notes. I said, wow. Instead of waiting until they go all the way through college and get out in the work world for about 10 or 15 years and then find out, hey, this ain't cutting it. Man, you got to start off by go. B, the, in development, victorious. That's where you're headed. You want to be victorious. When you decide to develop yourself, you're going to be victorious. Be everlasting because what you put in you is in you. And unless you do something real stupid or somebody blow your brains out, you got it until the Lord calls you home. Be everlasting. Okay. Okay. Talking super duper. <laughs> <laughs> L, yes sir. Yes sir. L is for learn. Be willing to learn because that's where it's at. Okay? Because opportunity passes our nose all the time. You know, and somebody's going to reach out there and snatch and grab it. You got to be ready to do that. Because when you get rid of all the fear and all that stuff and the confidence in yourself, you can grab that opportunity and say, hey, I can do this. And you P, penetrate. You got to penetrate a lot of negative. And when you develop yourself, self-development, you will be able to penetrate a lot of stuff. And even, you know, M stands for move. You got to be willing to move in order to reach those goals that you want. You can sit there all you want to. You can think about it all you want to, but until you move, which is, a, which is eternal, uh, somewhat similar to everlasting, uh, um, but 
you have to in, in 